So the other day I took a trip to Joshua Tree and I wanted to try a little experiment. Usually when I do 3D scans for VFX, I, you know, you walk all the way around the subject, you get it from every angle and you gotta be really methodical about it and it's a real pain in the butt. So I was wondering what would happen if I just hold down the shutter on my camera and walk around this environment. I'll try and get some good angles, but what I get is what I get and I'm not gonna stress out about it. I threw the pictures into reality capture and lo and behold, it was a somewhat usable environment. So I thought, why not make a little scene out of this? So I went on a run and I took with me my new iPhone that has LiDAR scanning capabilities. And so anytime I saw a weird little piece of technology on my run, I'd pull out my phone and use these apps called Polycam and 3D Scanner app to get quick little 3D scans of the objects. So I brought the scans into Blender and in edit mode I used the knife tool to trim off all the unnecessary parts of the scan. Rinse and repeat, cleaning up all your assets until you have a little library of random objects you can make a robot from. Now is the time to throw on some moody music and start throwing some random objects onto a skeleton. Make it, make a ro freaking Ian Hubert ripoff kit-bashed robot. Try and block out the general silhouette of your character before moving into the medium and small details. Now that the modeling is complete, it's time to move on to animation. Now, the fine folks over at Rococo were kind enough to send me my very own motion capture suit. This thing is awesome. It's super comfortable. It's great to be able to just throw on a mocap suit if you want to animate some kind of humanoid. Get it over with in five minutes, import it right into Blender, and it just works. It's extremely convenient and honestly an invaluable tool in my tool belt. I highly recommend them. If you'd like to buy one, the link is in the description. Feel free to check them out. Great people. Thanks, Rococo. So I had a little idea for the story of the scene. Basically, it's this crust old robot traveling through the arctic tundra or something and he finds this little house and he's very interested in the house you know we don't know if he's hostile or just lonely but yeah i hit record and i acted out a little thing and this is what we got so we're working with it next step is to bring our robot and our environment into a new scene and slap that motion capture data on that robot i want this scene to be moody as heck so i threw in a cube and i changed it to a volumetric material so it would catch the light flowing through the scene I gave the scene a basic overhead light and attached another light to the robot's face to give it that spotlight look. Quick tip to have some moving snow or rain in your scene. Select your volumetric object and add a noise texture to the material. Plug that into the density and then throw a color ramp in between them to dial in the look. Change the scale until it looks natural and then add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. By keyframing the location in this mapping node, you can make it appear as if wind is pushing rain or fog through your scene. Last step is to create the little house, and I just hopped on Megascans and exported some of these cottage walls and doors. I roughly positioned them in house shape and called it a day. After about 24 hours of rendering and a little spice added in After Effects, we got ourselves a nice looking render. 